Hello everybody. This video, I'm going to go out on a limb and um, speak my truth on some things that have been coming to me, uh, not things, people, experiences that I've been blessed with um, having a deeper understanding. Uh, and I'm talking about highly sensitive people. Uh, as well as empaths, energetically sensitive people, neurodivergent, and so on. Um, where do I begin? I, I, I feel as though many of my readings, the things that have been coming up, and I feel like this is what's been coming up in the collective, is more focused on, which is good, as far as healing, um, inner child wounds, sh the shadow, um, parts work, our attachment styles, all of these things. However, I want to point out something that I don't know how many people actually talk about this or speak up, and I am not a therapist. I'm not a medical doctor. However, I am a highly sensitive person. And I've been lucky to be able to make it through most of my life, not uh, without its challenges for sure, but having a very open-minded family dynamic uh, as well as a very strong will. Um, I was able to kind of make it through most of my life um, without being labeled or diagnosed. Now I have had um, a few run-ins with ADHD diagnosis, um, things like that. And that's where I sort of learned how we get put into boxes. Uh, we get labeled and contained, trying to fit, because we don't fit the mold of the status quo, we, and I'm gonna just link myself in there because of my past experiences. Um, we are made to feel like there's something wrong with us because we're not like everybody else. If you are a highly sensitive person, you will understand that um, the world that we live in is extremely, uh, it's, it's full of energy, right? And the way we were taught, the way we are uh, taught, the way we're contained into a box, it's not comfortable seeing how everybody else around us is comfortable in the uncomfort, meaning um, loud noises for me, like leaf blowers drive me insane. Certain noises will like, you can't handle it. Certain lighting, smells, scents, uh, our sensory, we are extra sensory uh, for a reason. This is actually a superpower. And this is why I wanna do this video because for many, um, and I've been working with um, younger people recently, um, late teens and early 20s who are um, labeled as neurodivergent or highly sensitive people um, we get medicated, we go through all of these different, um, uh, even, um, dyslexia is, is a gift. It's a gift not to fit into the mold. I, I want to point that out right, right away. And I was gifted with the ability to recognize that I did have gifts that we are all intuitive, but these extra sensory situations that we experience are because we see, we hear, we feel, we smell, uh, you know, all of everything that is around us that is invisible to many other people. We get that constantly. It is a lot of energy that's around us as well as picking up on collective energy other people's energy around us the cosmic energy um it is enough to drive somebody um crazy if you don't understand how what you're picking up and the tools 
to use to um, keep our system in a calm state. Uh, most highly sensitive people are not going to do well in an office building, in an office setting, in, in school systems. It, 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 it's, it's not, we don't fit into that mold. Um, and one of my greatest um, dreams is to eventually have a place um, for highly sensitive people to go to, to work on themselves, to work on their gifts, on their skills, on their intuitive, uh, there's so much. And to be able to see, to flip their own self um, perception around. When you're diagnosed with something and you're told that you have a disability because you don't, you're not like everyone else, that is a big, big, uh, heavy weight to carry. And there are many, I have to put this out there and I'm really sorry, this is the truth of what I've been experiencing. Many highly sensitive people don't want to be on this planet anymore because there is not enough support for them. People who truly understand and are not looking at them like they are damaged or there's something wrong with them or they need to be medicated. Um, and I do know that within the medical community, there are certain doctors and therapists and practitioners that are looking at this differently now, but it's not enough. There are not enough places and people to, that actually see what I see. And when, uh, if we as humans can actually get out of labeling people and giving them diagnosis, that's just enough to program them in their mind that they need to be over here and they need to, uh, they're special, but they need to maybe be on medication or um, there's just something wrong with them. And not having the the proper tools, the proper guidance uh, to actually see themselves as being magicians, magical, and very, very gifted. I don't, I, <laughs> why would you want to be here? Why would you want to be here? So I want to support all highly sensitives, all of us. And there is a spectrum for sure, but um, I really want to put it out there just in the general public to um, not look at somebody with autism or neurodivergence or dyslexia or any of the other labels, even bipolar, um, all of the other labels that we put on people because they're different, because their sensitivities um, are uh, their ex extra sensories cannot handle this crazy world that we live in to begin with. Most people can't anyway. Most people are walking around like zombies, numbing themselves out or just hypnotized in this matrix that we're in. And um, I know that I have, uh, this is, this is very, I'm very passionate about this um, because there are, there are some people very close to me that are struggling right now with this and um, thinking of changing medications or going on medications and that, that, that there's something wrong with them. And I, I want to put it out there right now. There's nothing wrong with you. You are actually magnificent. Think about all the different animal species. They can't handle most. So you can't put uh, like a seahorse in with a I'm not I'm t with a shark and have them like t take their environment the same way. We all have to share this earth with each other, and we have to um, really respect other people's environment and their sensitivities, and um, not expect them to just go hide in the corner somewhere and not be a part of life. This is my dream. I really wish to see um, more and more of us sensitives uh, flourish in the world because we actually are the ones that are truly gifted. We can see beyond what most people can see. We sense, we smell, we hear, we feel, we feel everything. And, um, 
Yeah, so before we even continue to dive deep into our attachment styles and all these other things, maybe look deep and see what kind of sensitivities do you have that you're not honoring, that you are trying to just chug along and, and get by because um, I know for myself, I tapped out of that. I, I, I came to a point my body was about to shut down and I'm like, no more. I can't be a part of this um, insanity, <laughs> this, this matrix anymore. And that's really when my gifts really started to come online. And I'm very grateful for that. I'm grateful for the tarot. I'm grateful for all the divination tools that I allowed myself to really, um, be guided to and, 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 um, embrace because it's changed my life for the better. And I really want to help other people do the same for themselves. So I just want to put that out there for all of my energetically sensitive, highly sensitive souls out there. I'm with you and I support you wholeheartedly and never, ever, ever look at yourself as if there is a disability there or an illness or something wrong with you it's quite the opposite. Most things are in this world, the opposite of what we are told and taught. So keep that in mind. And I'm sending you all out so much love. Take care.